Hi. Tonight we're making Schichtfleisch or layered meat. So stick around. For this one. So we're making uh, Schichtfleisch. Other, uh, it's a German dish. Uh, otherwise, in English, translates to uh, layered meat, which is uh, um, cooked in the Dutch oven. Um, it's about two and a half, three hour cook. It's just, you well, know, it's it's a. Uh, the recipe I found it from was from Undenheim BBQ. Um, it was up up on YouTube. It's a couple years old, but uh, I thought it was pretty interesting, and I just thought. Well, I'd really like to try that. So, uh, what it is is a uh, uh, he used a pork neck, but uh, I wasn't going to find that in the butcher uh, part of Kroger's where I usually shop. So, uh, I used a pork tenderloin, and it is uh, um, sliced up fairly thin, and you just layer it and onions back and forth um, in the Dutch oven. Um, top it off with some barbecue sauce. Uh, seal the lid and let it cook for like I said two and a half to three hours so that's what we're going to do tonight um, uh, looking forward to trying it and uh, as an accompaniment I'm going to make uh, some spatzel uh, uh, just going to heat it up really it's just dried and uh, you know, like macaroni you would just cook it in some boiling water but uh, uh, I thought that would be a good German theme for our dinner tonight so uh, Stick around and we're going to get started. Okay, so I've got a um, five pound, well, nearly five pounds, 4.81 um, pork loin. I picked it up at Kroger's the other day uh, specifically for this. The recipe originally called for um, a pork neck. Um, but I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't able in finding one. And initially I thought I'd go with a pork butt because there's a little more fat. But uh, uh, anyhow, Kroger had a really good sale for pork uh, tenderloin. And uh, so that's what I'm going to go with. It's it's closer to the weight that the recipe called for. Um, I think maybe the, the meat may be a little more solid than uh, when it cooks down than, than what the pork butt or neck would do. But I think it'll be okay uh, nonetheless. Uh, I've seen a couple other recipes uh, on YouTube also where they use the tenderloin so uh, I, I'm pretty sure it'll be okay so what I want to do so what I want to do is uh, get it out of the package for one um, He says no, uh, no thicker than one inch. Um, so I'm gonna try to try to slice them, probably about three quarters, maybe half an inch. But I'm gonna go ahead and slice these up.
stop here for just a quick minute. I've got a, a rub I want to try. I should have opened it first. I think it's going to have the seal on it. Yes, it does. I don't have a lot of space out here, so I'm trying to get this in manageable sections. Um, Kansas City inspired uh, seasoning rub, sweet and smoky, uh, private selections, which means it's a Kroger brand, private collection, I'm sorry, no, selection. Um, and then uh, my own rub, and I can't tell you everything that's in there at the moment, but I'm going to kind of mix the two together as a... cover it pretty well with with both This should definitely make a lot, which is uh, which is fine. It's my day is almost 13 hours long away from the house, and uh, my wife has an equally not quite as long of a day, but uh, she's gone all day also. So if we can make something on the weekends and then uh, have leftovers to make life easy during the middle of the week, that we're happy with it. Same thing here, some more seasoning. Um, my rub is what I, uh, I used a couple weeks ago when I was making the ribs. Um, so I can't tell you what is in there at the moment. I know it's uh, got some black pepper, it's got some white pepper, it's got some sugar cayenne pepper, uh, onion, garlic, uh, right off the top of my head, I can't tell you ratios, uh, chili powder, I think, but, uh, it's good on pork, um, Finish it off right here.
now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this in, uh, cover it up, put it in the refrigerator. It should marinate uh, at least six hours, uh, preferably overnight, and it's not gonna make it overnight. I'm gonna get, uh, let's see, it's eight o'clock now. Four, two. I'm gonna get just at that six hour mark, I think. Um, but uh, it should be plenty enough time to, to penetrate the meat and start flavoring it. So um, that's it for this section, and uh, uh, we'll come back this afternoon. So, uh, we've got a two pound bag of onions here. Uh, I need to peel down one and a half of them, so I'm probably going to use you know, like that five of them. Um, and then slice them into to half inch thick sl slices. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started doing that. And I apologize for the air conditioning that's going to come on and off uh, probably quite often today. Today's supposed to get up 97 or so. The house is still in direct sunlight, so that's going to, it's probably going to come on and off quite often. And I apologize for, for that noise that it's going to make. So I'm going to go ahead and start peeling my onions and then uh, I'm slicing them. And once I get all of that prep work done, then I'll get back with you. Okay, just about got my onions sliced up. Got two more I'm going to do. He said slice them about half inch thick, and I'm going a little bit thinner myself. I'm, mine are about a quarter inch thick. Um, truth be told, um, judging by the amount of meat that I cut up this morning, I'm, I'm more concerned I'm not going to have enough onions, so I'm trying to go just a little bit thinner with my onion slices and stretch my onion out a little bit. Uh, of course, I'll probably be fooled by it all, and have more onions than I need now. But we'll see. Just about done. Now it's got a couple brown spots in it. I think it'll cook out okay though. So that's all my onions. And I'm gonna run back into the house for a second and uh, bring the meat out. It's been sitting in the refrigerator marinating. And then we'll uh, get to uh, uh, layering the meat and the onions and I need to get some coal started. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so uh, I'm using my 12-inch uh, Dutch oven, and I'm um, Mr. Undenheim uh, from Undenheim Barbecue. I guess that's his name. I really don't know what his name is. Um, he used a 12-inch Dutch oven also, but he had uh, the shallower one. So uh, anyhow, uh, both my 12-inch Dutch ovens are deep, so that's what I'm using. I thought about using the 10, but... Uh, I think I'm going to have a little more more food than the 10 would do in one sweep. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with the 12 just like uh, he did. And see, I've got a couple small pieces, but I should have kind of set them off to the side for the front part of it. I don't guess it really, really matters. Uh, there's one. There's one of them little small pieces. So I'm going to start and just stack him right there. And I'm going to run out of the room fast, I see that happening. And then a little onion layer. And I'll do it that way. Yeah, like that. Onion, onion, and onion. 
Ooh, let me back up. I forgot something. I forgot a step, really. Not a not a process I'm used to doing, so forgot about that. Sorry about that. Used to caught it kind of early. All right. I am supposed to. Yeah, I'm glad I caught that. Line the Dutch oven with some bacon first, which will a help keep the uh, anything from sticking to the bottom. Probably adds a little bit of the smoky flavor to it too. But This way, put that there, move him over there, put that there like that, put that. There. Alright, at least I'm quickly back on track. Man, sorry about that. All right, back on track. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably put the top um, in his video. He his oven, like I said, was a lot shallower, so he had a layer of bacon down across the top in the middle. Um, I probably will with the remainder of bacon. I bought two packs just to uh, uh, cover myself, to, but I, th I don't think um, my oven has a little bit more height to it. I don't think the meat burning is going to be a problem. Alright, so little onions back in there. Back on track. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna have more, plenty of onion, if not more than uh, well, you know how it is. If you wouldn't have done it, there wouldn't have been enough. And if you did do it, you had too many. Okay. You get just back and forth layering between meat and onions. 
pretty much all there is for this thing. Hey, get off of that. Get off of me too. Kind of put some compression on it just to. Then I'm running out of space and I still have. Oh, I can pack it in there, I'm sure. Better go push that back some more. Yeah. This is going to make quite a bit. Like I was saying this morning, my wife and I um, like a certain amount of leftover too, just because our work week is uh, fairly busy. There's supposed to be one more set of onions there, which I just don't have, so I'm going to drop him right in there. I don't think in the big scheme of things it's going to make a difference. All right. So there's that. The next, uh, next step is uh, barbecue sauce. Um... I think he used Casey Masterpiece, and that's just his preference. Uh, he, he, in his video, he did not uh, specify to use it. He just use yours preference. And uh, sweet baby rays is what. Yeah, excuse me. Sweet baby rays is what he uh, what uh, what we like a lot of. So. Yeah, I'm gonna let that drain for a second. Um, here we go. So that's uh, that's really it. Um, 350 degrees for two and a half hours. So uh, let me get my coal started. Uh, it's going to take about 15 minutes or so, and then that'll put me really right on schedule. It's almost 3.30, uh, so this we should be eating tonight by about 6. Um, I'm probably going to change coals every 45 minutes or so, and, you know, spin around and, and all that for uh, distributed heating. So, uh, um, we'll get back with you after a bit. Okay, so my coal should be, yeah, they look like they are about ready, so I'm going to go ahead and put them there, get that guy out of the way, grab my oven, okay.
should be nine on the bottom. We got a couple little broken ones, so I'm kind of not counting that. There we go. change coals about every, almost every hour, probably just a little short of that, so uh, two and a half hours worth of a cook, and then every half hour I'm going to spin things around. Okay, I've got some more coals started here, I may have let them go a little bit too long, that's okay, I'll just come, make a point to come out 45 minutes and do the next batch instead of an hour. So. I'm going to go ahead and do my coal change. I really don't like these tongs. There are some really crappy tongs that I get somewhere along the way. So I can't use them for food because they're too flimsy. Um, so I thought I'd use them for charcoal, but they're too flimsy. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'm also going to dump the ash off of the lid while I'm doing my coal change out, so hopefully I don't collect any flies. Uh, let's see how it's looking, by the way. Oh, it's melting down pretty good. Okay, um, I've got, got my last set of coals going. I'm going to do a coal change out as soon as they're ready. And I've got about 20 minutes worth of cook time left, maybe 25 uh, on the meat. So I'm going to go ahead and start my uh, spatzel. Um, so I've got, a, got my stove going, if I don't knock it over. Uh, four quarts of water. Uh, which I'm supposed to just lightly salt. Looks good. And then uh, that gets boiled for, uh, what does it say? 25 minutes. So I guess I better hurry up because I'm going to be late otherwise. So uh, once that gets brought up to a boil, then I'll get it cooking, and my coal should be about ready for a change out again here in just a few minutes. So uh, I'll get back with you here soon. Okay, so my water should be just at, oh yeah, there it goes, it's boiling. Took it long enough. Alright, so let me dump the spatzel in there, and I don't, you know, they got spatzel labeled as a, German dumpling, and I'm sure it is a German dumpling. I kind of look at it also as being a cross between a dumpling and a noodle. I don't know how to explain it. It's not a... I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's really good, though. And so, uh, um, if you can find it in a store somewhere, please give it a try. It's a, uh, it's a good side dish for things. Um, it's To me, it's kind of a... It's a good substitute for an egg noodle, but at the same time, you get a little bit of a, maybe like 
the chicken and dumpling type of dumplings. I see, I, I grew up with a different dumpling than the, the flat uh, flat dumplings that you get with chicken and dumplings most of the time. My mom used to make big puffy pastry type of dumplings, so when I think of dumplings, I don't think of the, the flat rolled out ones. But, um, anyhow, I'm just going to wander and babbling if I keep going on. So, uh, if you can find them, I found these in, in Walmart in the international aisle. Um, it was on an end cap, and there's was like two or three shelves that were for German food. Uh, so I found them there. They weren't terribly expensive. Uh, two and a half, three dollars, I think. Um, anyhow, if you can find them somewhere, give them a try. They're really, they're really good. And that is supposed to cook for uh, 25 to 28 minutes or until desired doneness. And alrighty, I think everything here is just about ready to come together. There's the spatzel. It looks done. I'll go ahead and turn that off. I am ready for some cooler weather. Let me see. All right, so I'm going to start up getting a plate for my wife here. Hey, that was real dumb of you. All right. She eats like a bird, so. Don't tell me that's too much, but Grabbing a hold of all of it. Okay. And a little bit of ice. She is going to say that's too much. Well, that's what she gets. Grab a hold of it, it just falls all apart. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's a good size portion. And sit that there for a minute.
drain that off in a second. I just want to... Yeah, I do it all the time. Alright. Stand by a second. I just want to... Okay, so... Yep, okay. Let me get my hand out of the way. There we go. Somewhere in there. Yeah, there we go. Layered meat and spatzel. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me this afternoon and early evening. And uh, thank you for watching my videos. And we'll see you next time. I did it some justice because that's really, really good. Wow. Mm. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.